What's up, everybody? I'm going to show you our new call flows that we are launching inside of PhoneWagon. So I'm inside of our dashboard right now. I'm going to go over to call flows. I'm going to choose the company that I want to add the call flow to. It's going to be Delray Dental. And then I'm going to go into call flows. So we have a couple different templates here. If we want to start with a template, I'm going to start with the IVR template and then I'm going to use that template. Okay, so incoming call. So first of all, we need to uh, name this flow. So this is going to be our main line call call flow. So I'm going to name the call flow right there. Um, and then now I'm going to add uh, an incoming call. So, so basically you select the numbers that you want to apply this call flow to. Uh, so I'm going to apply it to our main business line and click save there. So you can have this call flow only happen if it's uh, in particular hours, right? So if I want to do just weekdays from, you know, nine or let's say 8 a.m. to call it 6 p.m. I can do that right there, uh, 6 p.m. Um, and then I can add off hours, weekend hours, whatever I want there. So I'm going to click save. And then if it, you know, uh, if it's closed, we can send everyone to voicemail. I can use a pre-recorded voicemail right here. Um, here's the voicemail that we're sending it to, um, and I'm going to click save. So I already recorded that voicemail. I could create a, a new one in there as well. Um, I'm going to have our greeting actually happen at the IVR level. So when there's an IVR menu, uh, I can use a recorded greeting, right? So I already have our main greeting right here, which basically says for sales or for new customers, uh, new appointments in this case, press one and for existing patients, uh, because it's a dental office, press two. So I'm only going to have two IVR options in here. Uh, if there's no input, you can have it play the IVR a couple times and then move to the no input setting, um, which we can set in just a second, right? So I'm going to click save. Um, so if they do press one, what do we want to do? We want to forward the call. Okay, so let's go ahead and edit this. So we want to forward the call to uh, Ryan's phone, which we already have in here as a line. If you're using our phone system, you can also just have it forward to uh, a particular user as well, right? You can have it as a user in here that already has user seats for our inbox. Um, but I'm going to forward this to uh, to Ryan phone. You can also simultaneously ring multiple phones at the same time. Uh, if you want to prevent, you know, the voicemail of the actual phone, um, you know, since it is forwarding the call, you can prevent voicemail right there. Um, and I'm going to click save. So if they press two, what do we want to do? We want to send that to uh, a different a different route, right? So we're going to send that to existing customers. We're going to send that to this line. Um, again, you can you can ring multiple phones. You can uh, round robin, which will equally distribute the calls to everyone that you have there. And then if they don't have an input, what do you want to do? So there's a couple different options here, right? So you can send it to voicemail if there's no input. You can also send it to another phone. We just have voicemail uh, selected here. But let's just send it to main voicemail uh, if there's no input, right? And then if no one answers, we can end the call. Okay, so this is a call flow we just created in our call flow editor. Um, you know, again, you can have uh, multiple different selections here for no input, forward it to this line, this line for the IVR. We have business hours, um, and then we're going to click save. And now you can apply this call flow, right, to our numbers. Um, so if I go to numbers right now, this main business line is set up for the main call flow. That's our new call flow editor. It's, uh, it's super sharp and uh, excited for you guys to see it.